Earlier this year, I got hooked into the world of spatial computing, but despite how much I love this new computing platform, there's a few problems with the current iteration of this technology. First of all, right now, spatial computing is usually confined to a bulky headset that is uncomfortable to wear for long sessions. Second, these headsets usually rely on cameras to feed you pass-through views of the world rather than just seeing it with your own eyes. Then there's also the problem that naturally occurs when adopting early technology. A lack of users naturally leads to a lack of applications, and above all else, new technologies are usually costly and prohibitively expensive. That's why when Xreal reached out to partner with me to check out their new Xreal Beam Pro, which promises to turn their Xreal glasses into a full spatial computer with millions of apps at an ultra affordable price point, I knew I had to check it out. When you first look at the Xreal Beam Pro, it's a pretty drastic departure from the previous version, and it looks and works just like an Android smartphone. However, you'll notice something about the Xreal Beam Pro that's different from just a standard Android smartphone. It has two USB-C ports. That's because the Xreal Beam Pro isn't just running Android, it's also running Xreal's Nebula OS. And you'll see that Xreal designed the Xreal Beam Pro to be able to easily connect to their Xreal glasses and still connect to a charger at the same time. And that is the way this device is meant to be used because once you take a pair of Xreal glasses and connect them to the USB-C port, Nebula OS launches and you'll see a new home screen of applications floating right in your field of view. However, unlike the Vision Pro or the MetaQuest 3, this is all happening on a small, lightweight pair of glasses. And because it's not a headset, there's no need for a camera pass-through mode, and you can still look at the real world with your own eyes. And the Xreal Beam Pro also takes on an entirely new user interface that works directly with the glasses interface. So now the Xreal Beam Pro displays a trackpad, a home button with additional buttons on the top to easily scan, record, or capture your session. Navigating the user interface is pretty simple. Think of the Xreal Beam Pro as a mouse and all you have to do is hold the Xreal Beam Pro up and point it at the app icons, then press with the touchpad to click and launch an app. And then to navigate the user interface, you would use it just like you're using a trackpad. So you can scroll, you can tap to click, and you can click on other parts of the user interface just by pointing the phone like a mouse cursor. Now you might be wondering, even though this has Nebula OS, why involve Android at all? Well, there's two reasons for this. First of all, being on Android enables a really big advantage. All of your Android apps work on this spatial platform without any need for developers to optimize their apps for it. And I really like that because all of the apps you already use on your phone are available to use on the Xreal Beam Pro, which means there's already a huge ecosystem of millions of apps. That means all of your favorite apps like Instagram, X, YouTube, Netflix, they can all work in this spatial operating system. However, instead of being used on a small size phone screen, these apps are blown up on a huge display, all running at 90 Hertz. The second reason, well, because it's using the same apps that you're already using, there's no big learning curve to get started with this device. I think the biggest area where that's true is Unlike a lot of other headsets that rely on air typing gestures, which can be slower and more inaccurate, the Xreal Beam Pro has the benefit of just having a phone display. So when you need to type on it, well, you don't need to type on a virtual keyboard. You can just type on your phone's keyboard like you're used to. That is a really good experience for most users because there's less of a barrier to entry. You already know how all of the apps you use on your smartphone already work. You already know where all the settings are and there isn't an entirely new operating system to learn how to use. But that doesn't mean there aren't different experiences that the Xreal Beam Pro offers. I think my favorite is that I can open two apps at the same time, placing them side by side of each other, which really levels up the ability to multitask. You also have a few modes here, like a body anchor mode, which places the app spatially. So when you turn your head, they don't follow you. And then if you press the orange button, you can set this to a smooth follow. So the apps do follow you. And then if you press the orange button again, you can reset that to body anchor mode. And because it's based on Android, you can easily connect third-party peripherals like a Bluetooth keyboard, and that extends this into a big screen mobile productivity device. And the whole combination looks pretty seamless with a lightweight pair of Xreal glasses rather than a big headset. And it enables one of my favorite features about spatial computing, privacy, because only I can see the content 
that is displayed on these glasses. And I don't have to worry about people shoulder surfing me to see what I'm doing, which gives me a lot of peace of mind when I'm working in public. So when I'm dealing with sensitive data, I can sign confidential contracts, go over non-disclosure agreements, or even something as simple as looking up a password for one of my apps. I don't have to worry about people actually viewing that because only I can see what's happening on my device. Now, as great as it is to use your existing apps on a bigger display, where the Xreal Beam Pro really shines is when you use it to watch content. Like I mentioned before, because you can use Android apps, you already have access to a huge catalog of entertainment apps like Netflix, Max, Amazon Prime, Twitch, YouTube, TikTok, and so on and so on. This is by far my favorite thing to do with Xreal glasses and the Xreal Beam Pro. I can open up YouTube or Netflix and place a giant 330 inch display in my field of view and it looks great with a 1080p resolution and the excellent micro OLED displays on the glasses. It provides a much bigger viewing point than my television at home. And the best part is it's easy to bring with me to watch content on the go. And I don't look out of place wearing a lightweight pair of glasses on my head compared to a big bulky headset. The Xreal Beam Pro just excels at a lot of entertainment uses. Another one I like is using the large display on the glasses to play games, whether that's directly on device for mobile games on the Google Play Store. Paired with a Bluetooth controller, you have a giant portable gaming setup that's way bigger than playing on your phone's display. And it actually gave me an advantage too because I could see everything really big. So I can actually notice more details in games and I can see when other players were approaching me from afar. Now, one of the coolest things about this new spatial technology is about the new type of content you can consume on these devices with spatial photo and video. Spatial photo and video are basically 3D versions of your photos and videos. And you'll notice on the back of the Xreal Beam Pro, there are two big camera lenses here. And these are actually both two 50 megapixel cameras designed to capture high quality spatial photos and videos, and it can capture these videos at 60 frames per second. The camera lenses are also spaced much further apart than your typical smartphone camera setup. And it's about the same distance naturally as your own eyes, and it helps with the spatial video depth effect. I also like that you're capturing these spatial photos and videos in a smartphone form factor. It feels a lot more natural than just taking photos or videos on the glasses themselves. It's much more natural, it's more comfortable, and you have much more control when framing your shots. When you're viewing the spatial photos and videos on the Xreal glasses, it almost feels like you're reliving a memory, especially for videos. This is really the most accessible form we have seen yet, not only for spatial content creation, but for spatial viewing as well. That is in general what Xreal has done here with the Xreal Beam Pro. They have taken a very complex concept of spatial computing, which usually requires big, pricey, dedicated headsets, and they rethought this idea into a really accessible form factor that we are already used to. A $200 phone-sized device paired together with an inexpensive pair of Xreal glasses isn't trying to be tomorrow's tech. It's trying to bring the ideas and concepts of spatial computing to you now, today, in something you already know how to use and something you can use, and something you can afford, removing the barriers of the traditional spatial computing experience. And because of that, you don't have to wait for tomorrow's tech. You can experience spatial computing today in the most accessible form factor yet by checking out the links in the description below. Also, don't forget to sub to the channel while you're down there and like the video, and I'll see you in the next one, maybe spatially.